Welcome, collectors. Thank you so much for tuning in to another installment of Diecast Emporium. Today we're going to be reviewing the Diecast Masters Kenworth T880 SPFA 40-inch sleeper Tritum tractor in speed orange. This is one of their newest additions to their transport series. As you can see on the packaging, the item number is 71057. Let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of this packaging before we take a look at the truck because it is very, very impressive. There's a rendering of the model on this side, the transport series up on top as we always see. And on the back, there are some features of the model. Here's a description of the real truck, Kenworth T880 SBFA. That's a setback forward axle with a 40-inch sleeper, Tritum tractor. The engine specifications are Packard MX-13, 12.9 liter, 380 to 500 horsepower engine, depending on configuration. 1450 to 1850 pound feet of torque, 2200 RPM governed speed. And the hood is a five-piece metened slope vacational hood. This is a 2019 Packard International trademarked product, all rights reserved. Okay, let's go ahead and get this thing out of the packaging. Here's your standard finger hole, which you guys have all, hopefully by now, know that's how you unbox these Transport Series models. Inside, you have a couple of loose items here. The first of which is a instructional piece of paper, which tells you how to fit one of the two accessories that are included with this truck, and that is either your headache rack or the deck plate and we'll go ahead and go over those here in just a minute. Also, you have your Diecast Masters Transport Series catalog or collection, where you can see all of the other trucks and models that are currently in the lineup. Coming later this year, 2020, there will be new additions to this. Uh, besides the Kenworths, we're also expecting some Peterbilts, as well as some new Western Star trucks. All right, let's take a look at what you really came to see. And uh, this is the Kenworth truck. So the color is speed orange. Uh, it is a unique shade color. Honestly, it's depending on which way the light hits it, it's more of a shade of red, uh, in my opinion, versus a shade of orange. But it is a very nice looking color either way. But first you have your different accessories, which I have already mentioned, but let's go ahead and get those out just to show you. First you have This is your plate, which you would install uh, the headache rack for. You have two different exhaust stacks options. Now, essentially, these exhaust stacks are the same. The only difference is with these Kenworth trucks. And I'll see if I can get it up to the camera here to show you guys. Uh, really, the only difference is height. So they're both curved pipes. Just one of them is slightly higher than the other one. Also, you have some screws, again, which you will need if you swap out the headache rack and such. So let's go ahead and put that back away. And we'll go ahead and get the headache rack out. Probably easier just to punch it through this way. I would there we go. All right, so you have your oversized load sign, which goes on top of the headache rack and the headache rack itself. Now, the diamond plating job on here... Uh, again, on these trucks, I think is fantastic. It looks really, really well done. Uh, very realistic, in my opinion. You can see there's lights up here, uh, as well as, of course, the main warning amber beacon. And uh, I, I, I would love one of these days to see the option where maybe we can put some LEDs in here and uh, to actually make this light a functional working light. Um, that would... Just, just add another level to these already great trucks. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the truck out. Here it is. Sitting very cozy inside. Bob's probably taking a nice nap in the sleeper of this truck. So here it is. Allow me just a moment. Get the packaging out of the way. Okay, so I said that, you know, depending on which way the light hits it, um, it's... I, I think it's more of like a, a shade of shade of red than orange, but either way, it is a metallic color, so you will see metallic flake in the paint. Uh, again, which I think looks really really good. Just the the paintwork on these Kenworths in particular are next level. Looking ahead, there is the grill. 
You can see the detail that's on there on the Kenworth badge right in the center of it. There appears to be a uh, tow hitch or something like that on the front of these trucks. You have your headlights and your turn indicator as well. Your running lights up here and uh, your horns. Your mirrors on these trucks do have uh, stickers which simulate a reflective surface back. Alright, let's go ahead and get the exhaust stacks on these trucks. Now they just, if you look right here, there's holes right here, so you just pop them in to the predetermined holes that are already there. Very simple, they lock in. Just like that. Now, one of the, uh, what I think is one of the great points about these trucks, again, uh, there are many, of course, but I love the fact that these doors open up and you can get a figure inside without a problem. The doors open up to a good enough angle. And you can see the interior of the trucks. Uh, all of these Kenworth trucks, they have the instrument panels, the dashboard. All of that is done up and uh, painted very well with a mixture of paint and uh, decals. There's even the Kenworth badge on the center of the horn. If you look through the back of the sleeper cab, again, I've got to get this right where the light hits it. There's a blue uh, bunk in the back. And just to show you that both sides do open, the passenger side does open as well. Now, to put the headache rack on, you remove these two screws right here. And you then put this on. And then the two screws go through there. And then the headache rack will mount like that up on top. So it's entirely up to you whether you'd rather have a setup like this, uh, which would be you know reminiscent of if this truck is hauling like a reefer van um, or a container. You know, again, those are trailers that are offered by Diecast Masters as well. Or if you want more of a construction type low boy setup, you can then put the headache rack uh, in which again would be more accustomed to that style of setup. And with the Tritum, Tritum axle here, I, I would be more accustomed that this would be, you know, more of a, a low boy hauling truck, in my opinion. So also here, just like with all of the other trucks, the fifth wheel will slide. So again, you can position and choose where you want the fifth wheel uh, to fit the, the different trailers that you have. Again, the first time you do this, the fifth wheel is all, always very reluctant. But as you can see here, you can slide it forward or reverse. Just be careful, as always. You definitely don't want to overdo something and break your model. The mud flaps on the back have Kenworth on them, and they are rubber and flexible. They're not just a single hard piece, which, again, adds to the realism and immersion factor. And one of the last things I want to point out in terms of detail on this truck, if you can look at the bolt detailing on the end of the sleeper cab, that is incredible. Again, they could have just left this thing blank, uh, or, or bare, rather, but instead going the extra mile and adding the bolt detail, I think, again, adds to the realism aspect of these trucks. Underneath, there are some components that have been modeled, such as drive shaft, your different tanks, obviously your engine, transmission. And here you can see working steering. Want to take a look under the hood? We can do that. Here you can see a detailed Packard engine with the Packard nameplate right on top of the block there. Overall, very, very, very nice trucks. And just to show you that they will hook up to any of the Diecast Masters trailers, I just so happen to have one of the new XL120 low boys, which you can now buy separately. So beforehand, if you wanted one of these low boys, you have to buy them with uh, one of the trucks. Now you can buy the low boy separately, and say you want this Kenworth in Speed Orange, you can buy the tractor by itself, and you can buy the low boy by itself, which again, that adds uh, flexibility, which is always great to see.
So it looks pretty good. There you have it. So as always, collectors, thank you very much for your time. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed this review. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned. We've got a lot of great Diecast Masters product reviews coming up. And if you look at your screen right now, I'll go ahead and post a suggested review uh, of some of the other Kenworth trucks that I have already reviewed. Thank you guys again. Take care. Be safe. We'll see you soon.